what's up everybody it's big john and um i'm gonna show you i told you that i was probably gonna do a put this on metal on metal with real riders and that i would probably use a, another gasser that i have multiples of actually i had quite a few when i checked i had like 12 um i i like this car the way it is so but i really because I collect gassers, all the gassers that I have, I have doubles, triples, quadruples, whatever. Um, I have quite a few of each one. And I do every one the same way with metal on metal and real riders because I, I just want it that way um, for my own personal collection. And then I keep one on card so it doesn't get messed up. So in this video, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to remove this off the blister without damaging the card um and then i'm going to basically do a, a base and wheel swap and what we're going to use today for that wheel swap of course is the uh the hot wheels favorites the uh, 55 bel air gasser with the real riders metal on metal and this is going to be our sacrifice car some of the stuff that we're going to be using today uh, because I keep them myself in a, in a nice showcase that I built for my cars and I display them in my bedroom um, I'm not going to be tapping them and screwing them um, I'm just going to be uh, dropping some super glue on it and and hopefully nobody's going to mess with them anyway and the way i do it it's, it's they stay pretty good even if i roll them across the floor they don't they don't come apart so <clears throat> we're going to do it that way so what we're going to use and what we're going to need um besides my cat wanting in the house is we're going to use some acetone a paintbrush And then to take the car apart, I use these, this is a 3 16th metal drill bit with the spade on the bottom of it so that it just goes into my uh, multi-speed drill easier. Um, this is what we'll be using to drill out the bottom of the car. Um, these cars um, don't have rivets. They just have posts. So, you know, everybody thinks that a lot of people, when they start doing things like this, they have rivets. They're not rivets. They're just a post. So it's easy to, to, to do this on. Now, I'm using a... I'm not sponsored by anybody, of course, because as everybody can see, I don't have any, really any followers. So what I'm going to use is my DeWalt drill, and it is multi-speed. Um... You basically it will move as hard as you squeeze the trigger. Okay, so that's really what you want to use. Okay, and then after we get the car apart, um, we want to basically, I have some uh, diamond uh, mini files here. We're going to go ahead and file the posts flat so that we get a nice snap fit. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and open up our sacrifice car. I Don't cringe. I'm sorry. I know. This car doesn't really mean anything, so I don't really care about it. I don't care about these cars that much either. I have one in my own case that I collected, and I have, like I said, I probably have 10 or 12 of these still on card. So basically, it's the big deal. And, you know, I like the real riders on these, and it is metal on metal. So what we're going to do is we're simply just going to take this one apart, and we're just going to use, I don't like the glass, the plastic windshield here. I don't like the coloring of it. So basically, probably just going to chuck that in the trash. But we'll be, we will be keeping the interior because all gas or interiors are, are mostly, you know, just the solid chrome. So we are going to be keeping that for for you know later on down the line if we have to chop something up so basically there's your post so we just want to 
get the drill bit tip in that <clears throat> center hole. Now, a lot of people say, you know, they use a punch to do that. But if you take one of your smaller screwdrivers and you just stick it in there and you just turn it, the metal is soft enough that you're just going to widen that hole just a little bit just to be on the safer side because that metal, believe it or not, is really soft. So you, you don't really need to punch it if you don't want to. Um, the only difference between metal and metal and the plastic is when you're drilling, you want to try to stay dead center. If you go off left or right, you're going to get a funky plastic um, and you just don't want that or you could go through the plastic and really screw it up. So you want to try not to do that. But on metal and metal, it's, it's kind of unforgiving. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, kind of forgiving. So you just want to start and you just want to go ahead and just start off slow and just drill it out as slow as you want. Hold the car firm and just start slow. And you can see the metal shavings. And just speed it up, you know, as you get more comfortable. And then I have a trash can right here beside me. And you just wanna take a look. And as you can see, I've gotten through that post. So that, that rear end should come off it should snap right out of there. So now we're just gonna turn the car over, or turn it around here, and we're gonna do the front. Now on these gassers, the wheelbase is a little bit in your way, but with the 3 16th drill bit, it should be okay. So you just wanna get it as quickly to the center as you can. And again, you just wanna move real slow. You'll feel a little bit of a jerk, and you'll see all that metal start to fall out of there. And then when you're pretty confident, I usually count to about 10. I usually count to about 10 or so uh, at that speed. And I pretty much get that look. I know it's, it's hard to focus in on that, but you can see it went around fairly easy. And as you can see, it, it pops right out with no problem. Um, it, I barely pulled on that and it, it popped right off, so. So all in all, you can see it, it came off really clean. Okay, so that's how we're going to, that's how we got the bottom off. Now, we're going to set my drill aside here and we got our, we got our base with the real riders on it. So I don't need to do a wheel swap or anything like that or to make custom um, axles or anything like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paintbrush and we're gonna get into our acetone and we're gonna get our paintbrush nice and wet. And then what you wanna do is, is you just wanna go on the back side of the card here and you wanna go around the border of the plastic. So you just wanna run a bead across the bottom like that. And you wanna pretty much saturate this until it's, it gets nice and loose. And generally the top is going to be right where the writing ends. You guys can see where the writing is. That's gonna be basically like the top of your blister, maybe a little bit higher. And then you just wanna run down the sides here. Just run it down the sides. And you wanna keep doing this until you feel the blister start to give way. Because I'm not trying to hurt this card. Even though I'm not going to use this card, I just figured that this would be a good thing for you guys to see. You can also use a, a heating gun, but... I don't like to use a heating gun, afraid that I would mess up the blister a little bit. So I prefer the acetone. The acetone will dry. It does not leave a residue. When it dries, it dries really quickly. And like I said, you know, it doesn't leave a residue. I just felt it loosen a little bit. And like I said, you, you don't have to worry about using too much 
because it is going to dry. Just set it aside and let the car dry. And there's no odor. There's no nothing. So you don't have to worry about that. So like I said, I'm just going to keep doing this until I get a nice clean release. Because if people don't do it as much as they probably should and they don't get a good release, there's it'll the blister will pull some of the paper off. And that's because, you know, when they're gluing these together, sometimes you don't get all the glue. So we're just going to see if we can just gently pull this off here. And see, we've already got a, a line there. Now, it did pull. I'll show you. Just want to flatten it out a little bit. There was a little bit more glue than expected right here. Uh, you can see where it's really saturated through the card. Um, but... In turn, the pla the paper is still on the blister. You can see where it peeled and then a little bit here on this edge. So it's going to make it a little easier that when you go to glue this back on, that you can follow that line and you'll get it on pretty, sh you're going to get it on dead perfectly straight. So not the best job I've ever done. I'm kind of disappointed, but I'm not going to keep this anyway because the car is going to go in my case. So that gives you an idea. Just take a little bit more time with it and you'll get a nice clean card and blister. So now what you want to do is you just want to set the card down, but you want to turn it upside down. That way the corners don't get bent because they are wet. So just all you want to do now is just set the card aside and the blister, let it dry, and then you'll be able to glue it right back on. Um, I recommend um, when you're doing it, don't use a super glue to glue the blister back on the card uh, super glue dries really fast and really hard and it tends to warp the card a little bit so this is the Guster 55 gasser um, these just came out I was not able to find these on the pegs out in the world I had to buy this one um, and I bought the red variant of the big the big air Bel Air um, so I got both of them. Uh, that was in a mail call video I did. So now this has a plastic bottom and plastic wheels and tires. So you want to be careful with this to, to you know, whatever. Even though I'm going to throw this base away, um, I don't have to be that careful. But I'm still going to be careful because you guys need to learn the right way first and not shortcuts. So basically I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm just going to put it in the center of the post and I'm just going to push and turn back and forth a few times and basically that's going to soft it up and spread out the hole a little bit so you get a good center punch and you can actually feel it pulling away the paint and the metal and you can see I got a little bit of flakes there on my screwdriver. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my drill, multi-speed. Um, you know, it's only going to move as fast as you pull the trigger. And then this, I'm just going to go as slow. I'm going to find my center. Then I'm just going to go really slow to not mess up that plastic bottom. And I'm just going to slowly pull that post metal off of there. A little bit of pressure. You can see the stuff starting to give away. Got to dump the flakes in my trash can right next to me. Um, I'm just observing how much maybe more I need to go through. Um, actually, not th that much more. Yeah, that should be perfect. Remember, you're not in a hurry. Just take your time. And uh, that's actually really, really good. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip the car over. Now we're going to do the rear end. So 
So you, this is all you want to do. Just keep steady pressure in the middle. And just, you know, just check it. Remember, we're not in a hurry. We just want to check and make sure that we, we've stayed center. And this is going to need a little more. I always like to clear the area. And that should do it. Now sometimes on these plastic, sometimes they don't want to snap apart like that metal on metal one did. So you might have to pry it just a little bit work it back and forth when you like when you get the front end separated and you know what I mean you just work it a little bit back and forth because remember we want to snap this back together okay so that it gets a good bond we're going to take it down just a little more a little bit of pressure like I said I'm not in a hurry this is something I like to do. So now we're going to pull the front end up again. You can see the front end came right off. But we was there, there it goes. See it moving a little bit? And then it just turns right out. So now we have undamaged holes on that plastic. They're undamaged. And when you go to screw that, if you were going to screw that back on, you have nice rim inside there for your screw heads to lay in there so we did a really really fantastic job on that now we, we could take out all of this if you want which i like to do there's your basic interior chrome all the way through and then pop out the this has a slightly smoked windshield not as dark as i've seen them um, I like the clear windshields myself, but when you're dealing with a straight chrome interior, a little bit of smoke doesn't hurt anybody. And then we have a very clean, empty body. So now we want to check these posts and see what they look like. Um, and this one has a nice centered hole. This one has a nice centered hole, and they're both pretty flat but we're going to go ahead and, and clean them up so like i said i got these diamond plated files so we're just going to slowly push across and pull across the top of these posts i prefer the diamond cut ones they're not that much more expensive about a dollar maybe and what that did was by flattening that just a little bit, it curved, it flattened out those curved, that rounded edge. So when I put this back together, it's going to snap back in. And that's what I'm really wanting to do. The back you want to be a little bit more careful of so you don't hit the bumper. You don't want to, you know, lose the paint there on that bumper edge. So we just want to flatten that out. Now we got two really nice starts. If I was to tap this, I have good centers. So what I would do is take my punch, make those a little deeper, and then I would go ahead and, and take my bit and um, go ahead and drill those completely out and go ahead and, and, and tap them and then put my screws in. So now we have our Guster Gasser and we're ready to put back the interior. <laughs> blow out any metal shavings. So basically you just wanna stick your interior back in here. Oops, it would help if you put in the windshield first. So there, we got the we got the windshield in. You can also dip your windshields. I know it's a new car, but you can also dip your windshields if you have some uh, pledge uh, floor polish with um, Future. You can go ahead and dip it and uh, let it dry and it would make the windshield look that much better. So now we've got our interior back in, our windshield back in. And now we're just gonna go ahead and take our metal bottom, our metal base with the real riders. 
and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't snap this back in. So we wanna hear that click. Well, it didn't click, but boy, I could feel it when it went over those flattened out edges. So now we have the Guster new 55 gasser metal on metal and with a nice set of real riders and um, that's going to go right in my case you guys should hear that they roll real nice and now to finish that off I mean you guys could go a little bit further on this if you wanted and right here uh, above the wheel, you can see the chrome underneath. You could actually paint that black if you wanted to, sort of blend in the tire. I sort of like to leave it the way it is. So, but um, I'm very happy with that. Um, if I were to pimp one of these out, I would probably paint the interior two-tone and probably uh, cut down, uh, pimp out the engine a little bit with some green uh, wire, uh, maybe a mixture of green and yellow twist uh, distributor cap wire that would probably look pretty sick uh, break up the radiator paint that black add in the headlights and the all the tail and stuff like that and probably put a license plate number on there so but for right now that's my video I'm gonna put some gorilla glue in the on the two post ends and that'll hold that car together even though it's probably not going to come apart because we got it to click in there pretty good this is big john i hope this video is a little helpful and I hopefully you guys can do this simple metal to metal real rider swap as usual i'm out <laughs>